What's all this stuff? Well, you'll notice it is removing directories. Every time this system reboots, it erases these four folders or directories as they're properly known and copies them all over again from the flash drives from which they reside. This was the easiest backup solution I had so that way in case one of the flash drives takes a crap I just leave the system running over here. All my data is on here until of course you reboot <laughs> and it does a full backup each time. The pictures run over the Ethernet wire right here that go back to the doorbell server and uh, if we actually sit here long enough the system will finish erasing all of this crap and uh, start copying all that and also will start displaying pictures at the same time. So I'm going to pause while any of that occurs. And there are pictures as it's going. Now let me go back for a minute and show you this. The network lights are flashing indeed. This is a blank picture. Man, this tripod is shot. Wittens! Wittens? I don't know who even took that. Some crappy cell phone or something. Ooh, Black Forest cake. Go for that. Yeah, 2003. Well, these are still doing their thing. I'll show you the... Uh, I'll wait for this to actually get started, and I'll show you the flash drives, Chuchin, while, uh, while we have everything here. And then, after that, I guess... Um, I guess I should really decommission the system. I'll leave it as it is. Not that I'll ever find a supply for it. I'll jot down the part number. I'll look it up. But even if I find one on Fleabay, is it worth $25? No, it's not. It's worth a dollar. You know, maybe I could bid on one for five bucks. That would be worth it. But other than that, that's it. So let me let this chooch for a bit and then I'll show you the flash drives going crazy. There are the four windows going, and you can see all the files being copied. Uh, network light is just doing its thing. And over here are the flash drives on the doorbell server. You can see them just doing their thing. Oh, there's some cobwebs in there, huh? Yep. These systems have been so exceedingly reliable this thing needs to be serviced and bad so we'll just let that one die its own death but uh, <laughs> that's the shoutcast it's running but I gotta reload the OS and service the fan in it and all kinds of great stuff um, these drives are chuchin it's just shared over the network plugged into that Belkin USB 1 hub that I actually had a video on a long time ago this one in particular, there's not terribly that much special about it, except for the fact that it's in Bondi Blue, or Bondi Blue, or however you want to say it, just like the original iMac. I believe, due to the color scheme, it was released for use with that, and Bondi Blue jacket is removable, which is not easy to do with one hand, to make it not that color and you can put tangerine or lime or any other color you want on there you can see there's little plastic ears here and this little thing here and it would stack on top of these ears here so you could have a whole stack of them with a whole bunch of usb peripherals back when usb was supposed to be this really really big thing and not just this port that you plug your phone in to charge like it is now. And they just sit here just like that. Pictures are doing their thing. If I wake up the system, 
it's copying in the background so that's all good and here's all the flash drives in the dark there it is one of the reasons I did this see I used to actually just have all of them on that machine plugged into one lonely flash drive but then I said I have all these old laptops and they have different resolution screens so let me size all the pictures down so I actually sat and resized every one of the pictures down to 1024 by 768 800 by 600 and 640 by 480 and those are on all of those the last one is the fail blog drive and that actually has all three sizes on it because there's enough room on it and uh, I don't know why I just wanted it on different drives for whatever reason and this is all going on USB 1 on an ancient system that's actually a lot slower than that thing we were just looking at and it just does its thing now once the backup is complete of course you won't be seeing all these uh, blinking lights but we can look over here at the networking stuff and you can see a lot of blinking lights there and some activity on the switch and this way if one system goes down the rest can stay running and since the system has been exceedingly reliable once again since I had refurbished it some time back was it like a year now or something yeah I think over a year it's been running fan fucking tastic so they just sit here and it'll serve anything I want to hook up to it not that I have room for any of those old laptops but hey they're there you know if I ever wanted to it's there that was the old voltmeter in my old Chevy while it was running reading about 14 volts with a radio shack uh, thingamajobber you know voltmeter everything's just running and doing its thing just perfectly fine but <laughs> that won't last now because of the small form factor design in that this thing is basically designed to have the drives down and uh, pretty much the case closed up so it acts as sort of a wind tunnel and cools the processor right now there ain't nothing cool in that uh, it's warm but nothing that you know so I'm going to lower the drives and leave that and uh, I'll just leave it running here for a while and wait till it craps out again because it's not fixed, it's not going to be. So this project will be continued at some point. Oh, back when we were young. Oh well, that's too bad. That is just too bad. Now we're all old and shitty, but everything in this system just looks fine. It was a great system, but that's that. Anyway, battery's dying on the camera, so I think it's time to change that. I'm going to close this up, and I will bid you farewell. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Pussy kittens. Oh, man. It's still running. Let's try the dryer, which is on the same circuit plugged in right here where this is, and see if it craps out when I turn the dryer on. There you go. She's done. Oh well, it's the end of an era.